Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Morty Games, and I'm um, bringing you something for the Chinese today. Now, this one's uh, just going to be a gameplay video. It's not going to be a build order as such. I am actually testing one out though. Uh, so I've played this uh, build order probably about mm, seven or eight times, and won probably uh, you know, six or seven of those. I think we only lost them once, and that was against the English. So, what is this miraculous build order, which is uh, seemingly OP? Well. Wow. It's a Chinese tower rush. Uh, so the aim of this one is to uh, reach fuel age at around four minutes, and I think it's back perhaps four thirty, four four minutes, four thirty, something like that. And uh, by that time, you should also have a uh, tower being built from the enemy resources. So, um, and then as soon as that's built, you should hopefully have enough resources to uh, upgrade the outpost with the hand cannon emplacement so really really strong really really strong build order uh, strong strategy uh, as i say i've had some really really good success with it so the only uh sieve i've lost against is the english and that's very much down to the range of the longbowmen and the fact that they can get up very early themselves yeah they're kind of like their achilles heel of this strategy but uh, Hopefully, this will all go swimmingly well. Hopefully, we'll see. We shall see. So, yeah, quite importantly, get quite a few sheep together at the start. Although this map does seem to be a bit short on sheep, I must admit. But never mind, it will be fine. It will be fine. Okay, he's going to find the enemy now. Possible. Hmm. So yeah, quite a good one. Uh, beat the Rus. I beat. Uh, I can't actually remember. I beat the English as well. Uh, but I beat most Sid. So I'm actually playing against the Rus again on this one. So hopefully I can get another win. I uh, don't know whether it's going to be ideal for this map, this strategy, but we, will see, we shall see. We shall see indeed. It might be okay, it might not be. Uh, it is King of the Hill, I believe. I believe it is. Okay, so two more over to wood. Yeah, we do need to find where the enemy is. I know he's dead. Here's his base. You'll be able to look at clicking up soon. Probably going to go for the Kremlin, I expect. Uh, he's going for tower defense himself, so it's going to be quite tricky. Going to be quite tricky indeed. I think. Okay. So let's get the barbecue on Sunday. Let's place it here. And we need to take two from gold over to stone. And then we need to take five. Five. Wood. And send me forward. And that's essentially it. We'll try and drop off that food. Um, those sheep, sorry. As we go. But yeah, not really a huge amount for me to talk about at this point. Other than see what happens. <laughs> it is pretty good. Uh, I do tend to find that uh, if you kind of run out of steam of the initial rush, um, you generally do do enough damage to uh, get a good head start over your opponent, but you can quite easily switch into uh, Spearman and uh, Rams. Yeah, very late actually. It's, I don't quite know why. I don't quite know what I've done differently. 
Um, it really should be dropping resources on your enemy by now. Uh, probably done the wrong way, but never mind. If we can sneak around the side here, we'll be able to get to that gold. Dearly. Okay. Yeah, I do expect there's a Kremlin somewhere. Temper is stable. Uh, possibly going for night. Might be an issue. But we'll see. Yeah. Just keep towering up. Ah, oh, it's gone for Golden Gate. Well, that makes life easier. To be honest. Certainly makes life a little bit easier. He's going for the Wooden Fortress, it's not really going to be uh, too advantageous for him. As soon as I can pick off villages there, which is good. Start sending more over to food. And then hopefully I can also openly send us picking off villages quite easily here. And get close to getting. Um, obviously wants to go for a bit of scout spell, which is fine. Let's bring my scout back up here. Uh, no, it's okay. So let's get the uh, balance down for Spearman. Actually, I wonder, uh, what I want to do is make a Imperial Officer. I'm going to get up there and uh, start trying to just spam to be a minute, essentially. You do need the Imperial Officer to do that. I'm going to send a load more over to wood. Yeah, I could do some more gold actually, go for, go for gold first. What do we think about wood? Yeah, he's going to rush that one up, that's fine. Go around here. I'm going to make one there. I've got a feeling there's something here, so I've got some gold, so if I could get a protective tower there first. Pretty good. Now, where did the Imperial Officer go? He's on his way. Let's try and watch it die. Okay, he's not in there. I'm going to waste one. Never mind. Fine. I don't want to be able to sneak around a little bit. If we push him off the wood, let's do that first. Okay, let's supervise her. Get some red in the go. And let's get some more on the on the wood there. Yeah, so definitely causing some issues here. So that's good. Um, the problem I've got is that it's going for range. Yeah. It's not too much of a problem. Oh, 
Just need <clears throat> to uh, get the imperial, uh, not the imperial there. I need to get blacksmith. So, uh, more onto wood. Try and get that. It's a yield that I did for you. You've been standing there doing nothing. Oh, GG. Boom. So there you go guys. Pretty AP. My new favourite strategy. <laughs> so uh, build order for this one is on the screen now, or at least it will be once I've uh, made it. So uh, if you want to do this one yourself, learn it yourself, then do click the uh, card on the screen now and do remember to like the video and subscribe for more.